back. Hong Kong's much-missed Li Theater began life as a venue for Cantonese opera, but later hosted a variety of performances and also became a cinema. The Yamate Theater has moved in the other direction. Built in the late 1920s as a cinema, it's now the only surviving pre-World War II theater in the district, and it and a nearby former pumping station have now become homes for Cantonese opera. Last weekend, more than 282-year-old senior citizens were invited to watch a performance of excerpts from Cantonese operas arranged for the Leisure and Cultural Services Department. The venue was the newly converted Yaomate Theatre. The Yomate Theatre is the only pre-World War II theatre still surviving in Kowloon. For 68 years of service before suspending operation in 1998, it showed both Chinese and Western movies. Gradually, mainstream audience moved to newer cinemas, and in the 1990s, the owners turned to showing softcore adult movies to survive, before eventually closing down the cinema. That same year, it was classified as a Grade II historical building by the Antiquities Advisory Board. For more than a decade, it lay empty. But in 2009, work began on converting it to a performing arts venue for upcoming Cantonese opera troops. Mo Yutin is one of the advisors for the renovation project. He's witnessed the transformation. When renovation work started, several features that had been hidden under old structures in the original building were rediscovered. This arch had been hidden behind a cinema screen. The two pillars at the entrance had been covered with concrete and tiles. With its Chinese pitched roof, art deco facade and Dutch gable walls, as a cinema, the Yaomate Theatre had an audience capacity of 900. As a performing arts venue, it holds a third of that number. Also part of the conversion project and one minute walk away from the Yaomate Theatre is a red brick building. Built in 1895, it's the oldest surviving water pumping station under the Hong Kong Water Supplies Department. It was classified as a Grade 1 historical building by the Antiquities Advisory Board in 2000. It now holds a souvenir shop and will provide training facilities for Chinese opera activities.